totally protected from fear and darkness. Would you like to be protected from all fear, all darkness, all spiritual threats, all form of anxiety, pessimism and hopelessness? Because Jesus is the way that this can occur for you, as it has for me. He can protect you from all darkness and fear, and he will do so if you just ask him to. With the help of the media, darkness and fear are increasing in our society. Evil, the occult, misery, pessimism, dystopia, violence, and psychologically very disturbing scenarios are now flooding our screens. And this is gradually filling the collective mind of humanity with dark images, dark thoughts, fear and dread. This is not accidental, but nevertheless, we can easily become completely immune to it all, I assure you, just by following these two simple steps. Step one is to stop reading, watching, and listening to any negative, dark, or fearful information, including the world news. Step two is to ask Jesus to fully occupy your heart and mind. It is that simple. Jesus, when turned to fully, can ensure that not a single fearful thought will enter your mind. Your mind becomes like a fortress, a sanctuary, of, a safe haven of peace and light that cannot be touched. This is what Jesus can do for you in a very real way. This is exactly what he has done for me since I recognized his existence and allowed him to be fully with me, to inhabit my heart. You can effortlessly become one with Jesus. And it is a very beautiful experience, the most beautiful in fact. Even if you don't think you need any protection from fear, even if your mind and heart are peaceful and full of light, Jesus is the top rung of the ladder, so to speak, which we are being called to grasp. When we do, we find ourselves entering more fully into God's heavenly realm. Again, this is a very real experience that anyone can have. And to not want to experience this is like not wanting to receive the best gift that has ever been offered to you in your whole life. Imagine something that you've deeply longed for all of your life so very much, and one day it is offered to you. Nothing in your mind would say, maybe I won't accept this. You wouldn't consider it or weigh it up for a moment. You would accept it immediately, gratefully and joyfully, hardly believing that it could be true. But it is true. The deepest and most precious gift your heart has ever longed for is being offered to you. Your mind may judge it, or it may not even recognize it, and your ego may not like it. But your heart is longing for the divine fulfillment, which is an offer with Jesus, even if you don't realize it. If you could just become humble enough to accept that this might indeed be true, and just say yes to Jesus, and see what happens, just like a science experiment, you will soon discover that your heart will feel more secure, more joyous, enriched, empowered, and even in raptures, just because you said yes. It's usually only pride that stops people doing this, and sometimes fear also. But knowing Jesus means the end of fear, to be replaced with total trust, and it means the end of pride to be replaced by humility. So that's all you need to do. Say yes in your mind to God's most magnificent gift for you. Jesus' protection, enlightenment and salvation. It is like a life raft in increasingly cold and turbulent waters and I urge you to jump aboard while you can. This spiritual life raft is very real. It is on offer to you right now and it will signify the departing of all malady, fear, and darkness from your soul. I care about you as a member of our precious human family, and from my heart, I ask you to consider accepting the profoundly valuable gift that is on offer to you right now. I promise you that you won't regret it for a second. Just inwardly or verbally ask Jesus to take the reins of your heart and agree to follow his guidance.